In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take those long documents or papers that you're sharing with students, parents, colleagues, and make them more interesting by adding beautiful visuals. And not only are you going to add these visuals, you're going to add them in no time because AI is going to help you. We are going to have a look at Napkin AI. So let's jump onto the computer. Here you can see I have a long document. This is all about Key Stage 1 Maths, the teaching of it, and how we are teaching for mastery. It's an overview. It's an overview that is shared with colleagues, an overview that's shared with new staff as well as parents. So you can see there's a lot of information here, a lot of bullet points, and even a very long paragraph to open this document. Not very visually appealing. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into napkin.ai and napkin is going to help us to generate and create visuals for this. Sign up for an account and then you get access to this interface. I'm going to click on new napkin. As soon as I click on new napkin, I can either draft this with AI and start from scratch or I can use a blank napkin. I'm going to use a blank napkin for this one. There we go. Here we have our blank napkin. But the next thing I'll do is I'll take all of the text from my original document and I'm going to just simply copy that over. We now have a napkin document. I can start arranging things and I can start editing. Use this as your main text editor if you are planning on using any of the illustrations. Now let's see what we can do with this first paragraph. It's a very long paragraph. Let's select the entire paragraph. And once I've selected this, you'll see we have this little lightning icon. That is an icon that will generate visuals. So let's click on that. I'm going to click on that icon. It is now going to read this text and napkin is generating visuals for me. So here you can see it's already selected a couple of visuals here that I can use. I really like this one, Journey to Mastery. It's using those steps. Let's go ahead with this one. And then if I hover over this styles icon, I can click on styles. And then I have multiple styles of this same visual as well. I'm going to stick to this original one. There we go. This has now been added into my documents. I can select this image. I can resize it, move it around. For now, I'm going to leave it in there and move on. So here we have our introduction. This document outlines everything we need. And then we have the key principles of mastery. Let's select this entire paragraph and click on this icon once again. It's going to read it. It sees that I have bullet points. These are numbered lists. So let's find a different style of image. Here we can see we have lots of different visuals, quite like this one where it sort of builds onto each other. This one is another great visual. This DNA visual where it's automatically found some icons as well is another great one. So there we go. Let's start with this one. I'm going to choose this one. Choose the styles. I'm going to choose a different style now. Let's go with the, mm, let's go with this colorful. Actually, let's go with the pastel colored style. There we go. Now, let's say that you wanted to use these visuals inside your Google Doc. Well, that's not a problem because you can hover over this image and here on the top right corner, you have an export button. When you click on that export button, you can export the image as a PNG file, an SVG or a PDF. I'm going to select the PNG. I'm going to go with the light mode, not dark mode. I want the background off and I can choose my resolution as well. Let's click on download. There we go. We have our image and in here, underneath our original text in Google Docs, we can now take that downloaded image and simply pop it onto our page. As you can see, everything looks great. We're going to do the same for the first image. Let's go back to napkin. Let's go up here. Let's click on export, download the PNG file. We're going to get that file and just simply pop it into our document. There it is. It's a little bit big. Let's make that smaller so it actually fits onto our page. We have our introduction. I think we can leave that on the next page. So let's just make this slightly larger. Introduction can be on the second page with this visual right here. So as you can see, Napkin is going to save you a ton of time by simply letting you copy your text into their AI generator, and then it generates visuals for your documents. Great for lesson materials and other documents you may need in school.
Now let's jump back into Napkin and see what else it can do because right here you can see I can hover over this and I can select it. Well, that's because I can still tweak each of these elements. You can see I can add in more elements as well. So that means that your visual can be customized to really match what you want it to say. I can also change these numbers by removing some of the steps. Now here you can see I can also hover over individual elements, select these elements and change the individual color so that it matches my overall design or style for this document. Let's say that you've created everything within the napkin interface. Well, that too is something they thought about. So here on the right hand side, you can click on that share icon and this lets you share this document the same way you would share a Google Doc it can let you share it to anyone with a link or only the people that you have added in. So here I can add in email addresses. They can then view this document. They can comment, edit, or edit and share. So it gives you those same permissions that we have gotten so used to collaborating online on documents. In addition to that, now if I wanted to export the entire document, I would have to click on the library icon first, find my document, and then click on those three dots right there. This lets me download this as a PDF file. Then I have that PDF and I can share it on other platforms. Let's close the library for now. Let's scroll down to our document. Let's find the final section where it says benefits of a mastery approach. We are going to leave a space there before the conclusion. And I'm going to, at the bottom, select one of these other four options. You will see we have a Spark search. When I click on that, it lets me search for an icon. So for example, here I'm looking for a mastery icon, and then I can choose any of these icons. Let's say I want this one. There we go. And now I have that icon that I can add onto my document to really show that these are some mastery benefits. I can have another Spark search. Let's search for the word benefit. There we go. And here we can see we have lots of benefits. Maybe we can go with this little medal and that medal can go right here on the right hand side. So you can see it really allows you to tweak the document, make it look visually more appealing. Now you can also add in your own labels by clicking on label, which allows you to add labels onto a document. You can add in a sketch, which lets you sketch onto the page and then it tidies it up slightly. You can see here we can even have it vectorized. I want it to look like that and carry on. We can also add in an image. Now here it shows us how we can import our own images. We can either click on upload, drag and drop the images, or we can also copy and paste them using our familiar shortcuts. So overall, Napkin, an incredibly powerful platform that's going to let you add visuals to all your documents. It lets you export those visuals so you can use them in Microsoft Word or on Google Docs or other platforms, or it lets you use Napkin and stay within their environment and share it with collaborators and collaborate on documents. And I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. I'll leave the links to Napkin as well and reach out if you would like more videos just like this one. I also want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members and Patreon supporters. If you want to get the videos early, become a channel member by clicking on that join button at the bottom. You get a number of other additional benefits as well. And if you want all our videos completely ad free, then Patreon is the place for you. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I go ahead and watch that other video on your screen.